Okay, hi everyone. So today we are going to discuss about the count x function in DAX. So in our last uh, video, we discussed about the count and then count a. So if you are haven't watched that video about the count and then count a, I have explained very detailed in uh, way. So if you haven't watched that video, please I recommend to watch that video so that it would be easy to understand the count x function. Okay. So now what count x function will do? So count x function also, it will also count the values. It will also will count the values in a column. Okay. So that is the first point. Second point is even same like a count function. So count function also, it will ignore the blanks. It will ignore blanks. It will ignore means it will not count the blanks. Okay. It will not count the blanks. Blanks for date and number data type. Okay. Number data type. So this is same for the even count also. And also it will not ignore the blanks. It will count the blanks as well. It will count the blanks for text data type. For text data type. Text data type. And fourth point is it will not work on Boolean data type. Okay. It will not work on Boolean. Boolean data type. Okay. So Boolean data type, it will not work. And the fifth one, so it's same even if you see take the like video in the count count uh, count a. So I have explained very clearly. So I will give the link in the description. So please go and then watch that video if you haven't watched. Okay. So extra, what extra we have the count x function? It will filter something, it will filter something and then do the count. What it means this filter something and do the count. What is that means? Suppose if you have a data like this. So I have taken the data like this, guys. So we have a product name and then price and then date and then online order or not. Okay, it is online order or not. So you want to see how many products are having greater than 3000. How many products we are having? So I want to see the count of products. I want to see the count of products like greater than greater than 3000 so if you take this this one so click ok so if you take the count how many like so the count is four so whether we are getting the same like so we are filtering and then we are doing the count on product so that that way it will do the count okay that is the context case it is filter something and then it will filter something and then do the count if you don't apply any filter, okay. If you don't apply, if you don't apply any filter, it will same like a same like a count function is count function, okay. So what is the syntax of this? Syntax of this is all x function will have a same kind of syntax case, even some x, count a x, count x, count x, uh, min x, max x, average x. So whatever the x functions, all x functions will have the same syntax like the table comma expression. Table comma expression. So this is the syntax. Okay. Okay, so before going to that, in the table uh, table context, so you should know about the filter uh, filter function. Filter function will have the uh, syntax like table comma table comma filter expression filter expression. So what it will give the, the it will give the table output. Okay, filter also always give the table context okay so now what i am going to do 
I'm going to do the count. I'm going to do the count. So by using the context, so what count will do, it will apply the filter. So you can take a copy of this data. Okay, you can take a copy, like so you can create your own database. Okay, product name I given so and so, and then price I given, the date I given. So let's see, uh, it is ignoring the blanks for the, uh, you know, price and the date. First we'll check that and then we'll come to, and then we'll apply the filters for that. Okay, let's go here and uh, let's take a new page and uh, let's go and then uh, write a new measure, right click and uh, click on new measure. Okay, click on new measure and count X on count X on number I'm writing. Okay, count X on number equal to count X, count X. So what is the syntax? Table comma expression. So what is my table name? Just table name. So table name is table. So this is table and expression place, whatever the column you want to count, you can give that. Date column I'm going to give. Okay, so date, table, date I'm going to give and then close and then enter. So if you don't use any filter, it will same act like a count function list. Okay, so let's select this and select table. So see here, see here, how much it is giving? Six. If you go on then see how many counts are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. But it is not counting the blanks. So these are blanks are there, but it is not counting. So that means it is ignoring the blanks on number. Even we'll check for the data as well. So we'll create a new measure uh, that is count X on date. Count X on date equal to count X, so count X, count X table so the table is table and then date table date so this is the date so and then present sorry i uh, i checked uh, earlier i checked on date right so we'll check the date and then so now we'll check the date so let's remove this select this table select this table and then select the date see if you go here, so date, so we check the numbers. Now we check the date. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means we have six. The remaining we have blanks. So what we'll do, we'll uh, intentionally we'll create some blanks for the text data, the text data type like product name, and we'll see the count. Okay, whether it is ignoring the blanks for the uh, you know product name or not. Let's go to the transform data. Let's go to the transform data. And uh, so I have just copied, right? So I'm just editing this data. So now click on the source and then intentionally I'm removing this three and then make it in as a, making as a empty and then click OK. And uh, let's go and then close and apply. So now we have a blanks and product, but as for our point, what I said, as for our point, it will count the blanks for the text data type as well, okay? So now, whether it is counting or not, let's go and then write a measure. Count x, the text data type, okay? Text data type equal to count x, open bracket, table, table, uh, table, product name, okay? So let's close, let's close. And then press enter. Press enter. So now take that measure. So like whatever the text measure is, right? So just select that. So how many? How many it is giving? Go here, and then so now count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So there are three blanks. That means it is counting the blanks. So whatever the point I have written, it is proved, right? Whatever the point I have written, it is proved. Now. Whether it is work for Boolean data type. Boolean data type means true or false is nothing but a Boolean data type. So as I said, as for our point, it will not work on Boolean data type. Okay, let's see whether it is working on Boolean data. 
right okay click on new major from x will equal to count x open bracket table and then table the online order or not so let's take that and press enter okay so now if you see see it is giving error it is giving an error okay that means it will not work on boolean data type count x will not work on boolean data type okay but this is same like a count function. Okay, so if you don't use any filter, it is same like a count function. Even if you see the previous video, okay, so you will have the same results. But the difference is you can apply the filter, you can apply the filter and then do the count. So that means what I'm trying to do, I'm going to apply the filter which is having sales price. Okay. Count x with the filter the filter equal to uh, count x okay count x here i am going to use the filter function that is also like a table comma filter expression now you are filtering like uh, what you are filtering price price greater than greater than 3000 so 3000 close here so what it will give it, what it will give it will filter this data okay it will filter this data uh, with the greater than 3000 and then it will give the table output like this greater than 3000 so when you write uh, greater than 3000 it will apply this one and then it will give this table output out of this what you are counting i'm counting this product product name so you in expression place you are going to give the product product name okay so then close so what it will give count it will give four okay so it is applying the filter and then it is giving count four see so whenever you are applying something filter and then do the count then you can go with the count x filter okay count x so this is all about the count x function guys so in next video we'll see the count a okay in next video we'll see the count a so that you can understand the count X and then count A also. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching the video. Yeah. If you like the video, please hit the like button and then share uh, for more videos. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.